Hi guys, it's been a while, but we have an unboxing for you this time. Uh, so, yeah, it's been quite a while since I've bought an, a collector's edition of any kind for any of my systems. And in fact, this is only the second main big collector's edition I have on the PS4. Uh, and the day I got it, or the day it came out, was actually a year to the day I actually got my PS4. So, yeah, the only other collector's edition we got was the Nino Kuni 2 one. So our second collect edition on the PS4, Days Gone. So let's take a look at what's inside of our collect edition of Days on, Gone. So inside includes obviously the full game, a steel bookcase, premium statue, a music CD, six collect pins, mini art book, sew on patch, four decals and a voucher code for bonus content. Now the box is actually really nice, a lot smaller than what uh, I imagined it to be, I was thinking it was going to be, but yeah, some nice uh, artwork all over the box, but yeah, not too big, so actually not too bad because it's actually going to fit in the game room for once. Uh, sorry about the light, um, we've had to film it here, so we've got a bit of a side light going on, uh, but we'll get some better footage of the contents after I've got it all out. So there's our main box. And then inside the slip box is the kind of, the main box if you like, the crate. And this is, again, is really, really nice. So the main kind of logo front and back, nothing on the bottom. And the main insignia on the top. So we're going to crack this open. And inside the top, we have our content. So first is a slip of paper saying, Days Gone, warning, contains spoilers. Do not open until story complete. That is for the art book, which is there. So obviously there's spoilers in there. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random page. Hopefully it's not going to spoil too much. There we are, a bit of, just a bit of artwork in there. Like I say, we'll go through get some better footage of the contents once this is open. Then I'm guessing this is our steelbook with game. Or well, I know because I've already opened it and the game is in, I've been playing it. But a nice steelbook, um, it's kind of an embossed logo on the front and back. Inside, obviously with the game disc which is in the console. Uh, we have a slip of paper with some controls on there. Another slip of paper with a code on for all the download content, which I've already done. And the music CD is in the second part of the case, which is quite nice. This doesn't come with a normal case as well. Sometimes these collector's editions, when they sell a steelbook, the steelbook is separate. So you get the normal game and the steelbook. That's not the case with this one. The steelbook is the case you get in with the game. Now, inside the next bit, we have our badges and um, sell badge and all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit of a pain to get out. Bear with, I don't wanna absolutely wreck it. So inside we have our pin badges, our decals. So in a nice little folder, our badges. Our six pin badges. So we have the dog kind of signature, a bike, a raven, kind of a skull thing, the studio's brand and a days gone uh, weapon which has been customised. There. And then inside this one. We have our sew on patch of Days Gone. So you can sew that onto a jacket if you like. Now I've got a few patches and things, but I'll just rather keep them. And then these will look better when we go through them, but some kind of vinyl stickers on decals, studio one, can't really see that one there. Uh, Days Gone. And another kind of symbol one there, which we also have the pin badge of. So that is those. 
Then, obviously, we come to the statue. The main reason for getting this edition, try and make some space. And obviously, take the top off. The statue's probably a little bit smaller, again, than what I was expecting, but it's nice, it will fit in one of my cubes with my other statue edition so again it does get it kind of out of the way so not too much of a ball ache. All this open. And it's nice that the bike's protected by an extra bit of plastic like the bike handles and everything. Here we go. This is our statue, our figurine, which again we'll go through more detail in a minute. So it is your main character basically sitting by his bike, and the bike is kind of a star of the show as well, the, the game. It's what you're upgrading to get around the world. Uh, there is a dead zombie guy underneath your bike with a, a gunshot through his head. Uh, obviously your main character's holding his gun there. Nice bit of detailing. We've got um, a paper and a map just below his feet. Like I say, the bike is uh, actually quite well detailed. So this quick overview, we'll go through some uh, better footage, close up footage with the camera in a minute. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, quite enjoying the game at the minute, not played it too much, we've just got it. Uh, the collector's edition as a whole, um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's a lot of standard stuff like your steel books, uh, your kind of art book. Um, CD, that kind of stuff. So standard um, collector's edition, but also them little extra bits as well, like the pin badges and the so on badge. So as a, as a collector's edition, it's, it's actually quite a nice one. I do like it. Um, I got it for probably less than half price as well, because I got it from Game, and uh, I had about £50 on my card um, as it was. So um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's quite an expensive one as it is, but getting it for like half price anyway, and uh, it's not worked out too bad, so I thought I may as well go for it. So we'll get some better footage, lay this out, and you can have a look at the contents in finer detail. <laughs> 